everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shirley, also known as Backtalk, and I usually do anything Disney, but today we are doing Funkos. We are at the Hollywood Studios Funko store, and we went on a Saturday morning? No, afternoon. <laughs> it was around 2 p.m., so I wanted to just cover it. I have two other videos where I have done a complete walkthrough, but I wanted to refresh it and show you almost every single pop that's at the store we were there for quite a few hours just filming for you um i did want to give you a tip on where to park so if you look across the street there is like a billboard right there there is 20 dollars parking there all day 20 dollars is a lot and you might be able to find cheaper if you're only going to the store but if you plan on doing anything else down in hollywood um lanes like go see the stars and all of that then that's a great parking spot like i did say we went at 2 p.m so there was no line to get in there was a line later around 3 p.m closer to lunch time but when we went there was no line we were able to still sign up for funk yourself um and then maybe about around 2 30 they stopped taking uh, people walking in for funk yourself and it was really loud it was really busy it was a holiday before halloween so yeah so that's why i'm doing a voiceover so parts of this i'll do voiceovers parts of this i'll just play music so you can watch the funko pops i hope you enjoy now let's hear all about it as you come to the entrance, there's always like a photo op depending on what the Funko Pops are for that season. Again, we went in October, so the featured item is villains and all of the villains from Disney. So you can see all of the villains here. Something to know as uh, you're watching this is there is a lot of exclusives from different stores. So there's like Target exclusive, Hot Topic exclusive, Walgreens exclusives, but they're obviously here at the store. Something else that I wanted to know is prices. It is not the best at showing prices most lounge flies are and most lounge fly items are but pops are not so usually they have a rule of thumb where it's like 12 15 20 and 30 dollars depending on the funko pop so you just look out for that uh so also when you walk in you have all of their merchandise so merchandise for them is not too expensive for some items the range in sizes was pretty good i would say there it didn't seem to have extra smalls it seemed to only go from small to 4xl so the range is wide um i just thought it was odd that there wasn't that much extra small so i don't know if they sold out or what you also come in and there's like a featured pop that's Funko Pop Hollywood exclusive. In this case, it was Alexander Hamilton. There is a theater nearby. And you might think it looks the same as the normal pop, but his uh, coat is shiny. So that's like the difference. And there's other uh, shirts here. Again, Halloween, because that's what the feature was when we went. Um, they did have some trick or treat ones. I love this movie. Let me know in the chat if you like them. They had Sam, but I had already bought him. So just showing him off. And yeah, so that's the entrance section. As you walk in, that's where you're like, wow, <laughs> because there are so many things to look at. There's, you can spend so many Many hours here but we're gonna start focusing first on the mcu slash marvel slash heroes in this section you're gonna see um a lot of what if like i said a lot of marvel they were featuring black panther because the new movie's coming out there is a bunch of guardians of the galaxy they still have marvel um the one with the luchadores collection they have some of the smaller ones from the disney plus some shows from disney plus like hawkeye and uh it wasn't just marvel they had dc and they had fantastic four so i just grouped them all in the hero section so that's what's coming up next so here we are in the hero section you're uh, greeted by a group which is very cute and again here are some of the featured backpacks there is a bunch of lounge flies the very very first time we went there wasn't this many and now i feel like it's a bunch of lounge flies everywhere you look there was a lounge fly wallet lounge fly backpack lounge fly outfit something lounge fly anyway so you have like i was saying look there's a target exclusive um, even though you're buying them here, they had a whole Thunder, uh, Love and Thunder collection. They had this cool Amazon one. I think this is the one where you clip it with the other four for the shawarma scene, if I remember correctly. Sue, so funny. Um, there's also a Hercules that you can see here. It's a Walgreens exclusive. And then I was looking for a creature, not this one. <laughs> I don't really remember that one, if I'm being honest. I was looking for Korg and I was able to find them. I'm very cute. Then you have X-Men, uh, which I don't really know much about, so I'm just gonna let you <laughs> enjoy this part.
will say so that some of this selection is old. I can't recall really how long these have been out. I want to say a year. Somebody correct me in the chat. But these have been here since the last time we went and they didn't seem to sell them out. So I don't know how they go through inventory or if they just keep it until it sells. Like eventually it will sell. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any of the Funko Pops on sale. I've seen clothing on sale for the Stitch Fix but never Funko Pops. Um, here we had some Loki ones. I really like Loki. I think it was one of my favorite like mini series of MCU. Uh, again, you have the Funko shirts. You had um, Miss Minutes, like a giant pop. I think this one was 30. I think all of the big ones are 30, just like you would buy them at any other store. I also really like Moon Knight. I think I would rewatch it again. I just like the whole Egyptian like background of it. It was just very like nice and interesting to look at. Um, here we have the soldier in the winter. No, I don't really know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like Captain America. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. Hawkeye, another mini series. It was okay. It was cute. Uh, was it my favorite? No, but it was fine. You have some what ifs. We watched all of the what ifs. Some of them were really interesting. They were kind of fun to watch. I felt like a young little kid. Um, but they had all sorts of items from what if. And then they had, of course, Miss Marvel, which I love Miss Marvel. I thought uh, the actress they picked was perfect for it. But here you can see all of the Funko Pops again, a bunch from Miss Marvel. I didn't even realize there was this many. And look at so many exclusives. And again, they have like box and Funko Pop materials. Here we have Peter Quill um, as Star Lord. And then you have more MCU merchandise to go through. So you have Doctor Strange. I personally like Doctor Strange. I don't like the show at Disneyland. If you've been to it, let me know. Not my favorite, but I do like Doctor Strange. So you have all of the Funko Pops from that recent movie. They had the um, zombie one. Uh, so they had some really interesting one. Oh, here it is. Yep, that's Strange and the Scarlet Witch very very neat and then they had some of this like art styled one some one division one division was another great disney plus short episode thing <laughs> i don't know what the, it's called it was good it was confusing at first and then once we got it we got it but again some of these like shirt combos this these big uh fig pins um they sell them for 15 dollars and then more x-men and a couple more marbles but this is just one section so far next up we have the featured lounge fly section which is what i call it just because it changes so again i went in october so this was what was featured it was all of the halloween lounge fly and interestingly enough i went two days before halloween so i was shocked at how much halloween stuff they still had but again it doesn't look like they want to like get rid of it so yeah i'm just curious if you ever see sales there but here are some bags again i'm trying to show some prices as i go through it um but it's your regular lounge fly prices so you're looking at 85 95 100 there was a couple at 100 i think i saw one at 110 or maybe 120 like the most expensive embellished one there was but there was quite a few cute selections there was this uh halloween haunted house that i really considered but it's really big in person just just consider that it's actually a really big bag something else that's interesting is that this was earlier when i walked in all right around two ish and we went back when i was about to pay closer to four i don't really know we went back and there was new merchandise like completely different renovated new merchandise uh they still had this merchandise there but they added more to it so i don't know uh what happened but it was a bunch of halloween stuff i'm assuming they found it in the back and they just quickly put it out on the shelves um again i'm not really sure how they do the inventory at the store and this happens often so sometimes before we used to go in the mornings and do our funk yourself and then we would come back in the afternoons to shop and there would be different items out on the floor so it's a store that just constantly keeps moving you'll see some of the same things and then you'll see some hidden gems if you're really looking for it um i really like some of these items of course i sent pictures to my friends and whatever to see if they wanted any because some of these are kind of hard to find online but they are plentiful here um, this one's very cool. I thought it was very cool. But again, this is like another exclusive. So even some of the lounge flies that are 
hard to sell they are exclusive uh, here is like footage of what I was talking about later in the day they had other backpacks like this one which again it was hard to say no to but I did say no to this one they had some Tigger ones which is so cute but I don't think it was worth the money for that one they had some Haunted Mansion they had that ghost bag right there you can already see it in the corner I'm sure some of you are like the ghost bag it was all over Instagram they had so many there uh, they had these lounge fly ears for $30 they glow in the dark I also considered it but look how cute this one is um, I think my husband would have let me bought it but I don't think it's that practical <laughs> and when I buy a bag I want it to be practical especially for for close to $100 it's cute but it's not that practical um, but here's my husband trying to be like yeah you should get them you know <laughs> but here's another one this one's i do regret not getting i think they're really cute now that i'm editing i'm like oh, i should have bought that uh there's also this stitch one with the candy and there were some wallets and you can see like on the right side there's some stitch ones that are candy shaped so just a wide selection of lounge flies and this is just like the feature section like i said pretty much in every section that i walk by as you'll see like the disney section anime section Every single section had a lounge fly that you could look at. You're a hairy wizard. No, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Um, Harry Potter section! Yay! So excited! Um, the Harry Potter section, I wish it was better. They chose to use this uh, style of the Funko. You know how Funko has different branches. So all of the picture places are not like the actual Funko, it's like the other Funko. And so, yeah, it's not my favorite section, but they do play the little music and there's like a little fire. Uh, but you can see there's a bunch of characters here. And again, bags. I hadn't seen this Crookshank bag anywhere else before. Very, very cute. And then there's also this one with all the three movies on the right side much bigger than I thought. I've seen this one online before and it's so much bigger. Uh, I considered buying Neville just because I like the honey dukes in the back but I did not. Uh, they also had uh, other village ones because right now you can collect the village. They had the Funko advent calendar. They had not only Harry Potter, I saw The Office and um, other stuff so you can just look around for those but they have quite a few. Again here's the fireplace because it was so cold. <laughs> uh, they had this huge Harry Potter. This is a huge Harry Potter Funko Pop. I'm not sure if the camera does it justice. Um, it will probably go to my knee and I think it was $110 if I remember correctly. They had other t-shirts again with Harry Potter. I think they had a lot of these. So I don't know what they're gonna do with them. And again, more of the village and more characters. Uh, before I saw things like Professor Snape, that he's hard to come by. Um, Sirius Black has been here. So I always check the section out because I find characters that I usually wouldn't. And if you've seen my channel, you've seen that Harry Potter is one of the few uh, Funko Pop that I collect. I'm very selective and Harry Potter uh, is one of them. Not so much Harry Potter, the character, but Harry Potter, in general. <laughs> two more heroes i believe these are dc characters again you can find the prices in the middle for different prices again ranging anywhere from 12 to 40 to 100 just depending so i think that harry potter was 100 
So uh, these heroes, I don't really know much about. <laughs> there was a lot of Black Adam ones, but that's because the movie's coming out, uh, which is interesting. And they had some exclusives already for the movie. I don't necessarily buy Funko Pops until after I see a movie or a show. Otherwise, I'm like, what if I don't like it? Or the character's annoying. <laughs> uh, how are you with that? Do you pre-buy them just in case you like it? And if you don't like it, you return it? Or how does that work? Let me know. I'm really curious how people do that. Because I saw a lot of exclusives of things that haven't come out yet. But I'll let you enjoy this section just because I don't know anything about it. And <laughs> um, as much as I like to be criticized in the comments, I would prefer not to. So <laughs> I'll just leave this here. Before moving on to something I do know, I want to point out there is bathrooms here. They are wheelchair accessible and they have, I want to say it's four, maybe five. I didn't go this time, um, but one of them is uh, wheelchair access accessible. So that's kind of nice. And the bathrooms, I believe, are neutral. So anybody can go in the bathrooms regardless of anything. So that's kind of cool. But now let's move on to Disney section, which I do know a lot about, kind of. Um, I mean, my channel is on Disney. But here again, we have more lounge flies. We have this really cute Moana one. Pua was actually speaking more to me than the Moana one, but they have Moana and little Pua. I wish Pua was his own little Funko Pop. I think I would buy Pua just by himself. But there's Pua. Look how cute and they had the matching wallet. Again, I have never seen these before and they just happened to be here. They also had Tamatoa, um, the Funko Pop, which was sold out for the longest time and oversold for like $40 and now he's back and normal price again. So I should have just waited. Um, and they had these really cute pins, but they were kind of expensive. I believe they were $35. And like I said, they have a lot of Stitch Fix clothing. Most of it is on sale, but the sizes do range small. Um, and I don't mean like there's only small sizes. I mean, like there will be one article where it's all extra larges, and then there will be another article where it's all uh, smalls, and then there will be one article where it's all 2XLs. So um, it's kind of hard to find everything in your size if you wanted to find like one of each in your size. Couldn't be a thing. Anyways, they had a Hercules section, which I loved, uh, especially that bag with the muses. I'm gonna put that on my Christmas list. Uh, they have, of course, other uh, picture places. So they had a whole scene decorated to Frozen. Um, and this is where they put all of the Disney princess. So anything that had to do with a princess was in this little section. So you have this little cute cupcake bag that I think my friend Jocelyn would love. Uh, very, very cute. And then they had normal, like, bags and backpacks and 
yeah, just lounge vibes. Uh, they had again the frozen section. They had some of these castle backpacks that were a little popular a while ago, and they had some that sold out, but now they're here. So um, you can always come here and check if they have a bag before you pay a uh, reseller on it. And same with Funko Pops. I feel like reselling has gotten so out of hand. Let me know if you resell and how you do it, or let me know if you buy from resellers. I do not. I just I say, oh well, I guess it's not meant to be, and I. And then I just don't rebuy it from a reseller. Uh, but they had these really cute uh, princess wands where you get a pin with it. I don't know what the, if they're new or if it's like a new exclusive, but um, I thought they were really interesting. You got two things. You got a Funko Pop and a pin. Uh, they don't have that many pins, actually, now that I think about it. They had the Snow White section. Um, very cute. I really like Grumpy. I, I was telling my husband that it's me. <laughs> it's me, look. They made a bag out of me. But yeah, uh, here are some of the Stitch Fix clothing. Um, again, it shows you the prices by item, and then some of them are on sale. They had this cute Nana, Nina, Nana one. I don't like Peter Pan, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I said the name wrong. Uh, some of the Pirates, no. No, <laughs> Peter Pan. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, which I love. I almost got Coxworth, but I want Coxworth and Lumiere at the same time. Otherwise, I feel like I'm gonna buy one and then I'm gonna have a hard time finding the other and then I'm gonna end up buying from a reseller and I really don't wanna do that, so I left it. They had the Beast with his floof up hair. They had uh, Beauty with the pin and then they had some of the backpacks. Uh, very, very cute. I almost got this one. I did not, but almost. Uh, here are some of more Princess Lounge Fly bags as well. Moving out of the Princess section, we had more Hercules. We had Pain and Panic. So cute, but 40 is a lot for a wallet that I don't need. And they had this Dr. Facilier one. They had Gaston with um, Bell, which I'm waiting for that one to get on sale online. And hopefully it goes on sale. They had a matching wallet. I was trying to show that Gaston and my husband <laughs> are the same person. They had this really cool uh, shirt, which I regret not getting this shirt. I think this shirt is very, very cool. And it has two out of four villains that I really like. <laughs> um, so there's Dr. Facilier, Corella. With a little flu. Is this my voice? Uh, so, uh, Emperor's New Groove, which is so nice to see. You don't really see Emperor's New Groove. That movie is so underrated. Let me know in the comments if you um, agree because I feel like more people need to watch it. Not enough people talk about it. They had some Alice in Wonderland material, which I did not watch or like. So, <laughs> moving on. now in the next section so I call this like there's a princess section and then there's like the Disney section where if it does if it's not a princess it goes here and almost a fourth of it is Nightmare Before Christmas uh, stuff so they had all sorts of Funkos they have art styles different they had some picture opportunities so cute uh, they have like these cards in the middle where you can find lounge flies I have never seen this flower one so I was intrigued by it um, but not intrigued enough for it. And I don't think it had a prize. They had the Muppets. I think this is from the Rainbow Connection, right? So cute. I like the Muppets a lot. Well, not a lot, but a lot. Uh, the Proud Family Funko Pops for the new show that they revamped. They had these Kronk backpacks and they had these Kronk uh, Funko Pops that are exclusive. But I, we, we just did not like them. We really like, like I said, Empress New Groove, but just the chin the sign was just odd. It, it just it felt awful to us. Some uh, Wreck It Ralph, Fix It Felix uh, wallets, some Lion King wallets. Again, the crown just falling off. Uh, these are the Funko Pops I was talking about. See how they look? They're just too squarish. I, I don't know. I don't know. Something's throwing me off about it. They had a Maribel. They didn't have any other um, Encanto. That was the only Encanto one that I saw, actually, now that I think about it. They have some of Aladdin. I think this bag is so cool. And it has the genie, has the bee, uh, a purse. I'm going to be honest, and I only do the backpacks for Lounge Fly. And I'm learning that I'm either I'm getting more picky or I'm liking them less and less. 
with the exception of this bag, which is definitely on my Christmas list. I mean, look how cute. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know what this bag is because my husband did not. I was very disappointed. They have this one, which my husband did know and was very excited for, but it didn't have a price, so I couldn't tell you. And they had some of these uh, exclusive pins for $25. Then you have the section that's like the Funko Hollywood Studios only section where you can find um, specials for them and it's usually goofy I think last time maybe we got Donald from here and he was like an exclusive with like a little chef outfit they had Clarabelle now that one I hadn't seen before um, it looks like it was also a limited edition at some point they had some of these Sleeping Beauty castles my husband was disappointed because they didn't have Walt do you have Walt the Funko Pop Walt because we're jealous if you are because all the resellers are selling it for crazy amount of money um, that we do not want or have or can pay. <laughs> they had Professor Al and they had The Sword in the Stone, which is one of my favorite movies, but I had already bought um, some of it, so I didn't get it. But they had this one, Madame Mima the Dragon. Yeah, I know a lot of YouTubers that I think would love that one. They had Winnie the Pooh, which again, uh, very cute. Uh, and the Winnie the Pooh section was pretty much it. Like there wasn't more than that, which is kind of shocking. They had some of these like Disney World Funko Pops. They had this Chip and Dale fluffy backpack, which I considered. And you have to get the matching wallet because of course they become one of my favorite characters so far. And again, prices are the same. You know, it doesn't matter that it's Disney, it's still the same uh, depending on the size. They had Donald Duck section. I actually have all of these Funko Pops, which is kind of embarrassing. I love them so much. I don't have the backpack or the wallet though. I'm waiting for it to get on sale. <laughs> That's like how I shop. Oh, is it on sale? Uh, they have Baymax. I hadn't seen this collection before. Nice and shiny. And they also put Stitch with it. I think maybe Space? I don't know why, why they were put together, but I thought it was really cute. Space Adventures. They had a little uh, figment pin. Some Roger Rabbit. I know that was really quick. I'm sorry. But look, this is a section. Just so many picture opportunities up there. So many things to look at. Um, they had Raya, The Last Dragon, right? Uh, such a cute movie. Do you cry when you watch that movie? I do. I, I ball hard. This used to be a Mulan section, but it's turned into Raya section. Artemis Fowl, some of those like, not miscellaneous movies, but ones that don't have their own corners. Zootopia. Um, these are bears? You would have to tell me what these bears are, because I don't even know. Mushu! And Mulan. Last time we came, they had a huge Mushu. I should have bought it. Here's Pinocchio, and you can actually make him move with the little uh, string, which is so cool. And Bambi, and some of those classic movies that are not my favorite and that, let's be honest, they don't age that well. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket, I love Jiminy Cricket, but I did not get him in that scenario. And some Bugs Life, which I love. That one does age very well. <laughs> well, I don't know, I haven't watched it in a while. Please don't come at me like, do you remember the scene? And then you have a little bit more Disney before we escape. But again, look at this one, this is an Expo exclusive. Jurassic Park slash world section. You can take a picture. You can actually get on there and take a picture. See, like I did. Ah, help me. <laughs> but there's just a lot. And I mean a lot of these Funko Pops. So many. I feel like my local Target also has so many of them. I was disappointed with Jurassic World 3. I don't know if you were, let me know in the comments, but I was disappointed. I wonder if that's why they have so many. Uh, we do have a small Jurassic Park slash world collection. My husband does, but we didn't really gravitate towards any of these. And there was another section for Jurassic Park. So that's how many they have. They just have so many. Um, and then they have sitcoms. So all sorts of sitcoms. They had Ted Lasso, they had Beard. Oh, what a show. What a show. It's so good. If you haven't seen it and you have Amazon, is it Amazon? No, Apple TV, go watch it. They have Ozarks, which my husband watches, and I stopped. They have Legally Blonde, which I was really excited about. I know that's not a sitcom, but it's in the section it was in. But yeah, Legally Blonde, so cute. 
Uh, they have the Golden Girls. Don't come at me, but I've never seen it. Never seen it. But I'm sure some of you would be very excited for those. And Cheers also, never seen. And the Brady Bunch also, never seen. <laughs> You're probably like, what do you watch? Well, let me tell you, I watch The Office. <laughs> which is coming up soon but there's some Parks and Recs nothing that we hadn't seen before some office ones there was Ryan Howard from the Walmart exclusive I kind of wish he had like full blonde hair uh, but there wasn't any others from the office that I was like oh, I wanted this one for the you know like there's some that I really want and there wasn't any of those here are more of those calendars that I was talking about Seinfeld a whole section for Seinfeld there used to be a whole section for friends but they haven't made any friends in a while so there wasn't a friend section this time around but there was Seinfeld and there was quite a bit of Seinfeld um, which is fine because Stanza <laughs> my brother really likes it uh, and then you have other movies so these aren't like sitcoms but they're like randomly played so you have Yep, you guys guessed it. You have Back to the Future, but I already had that Funko Pop, so I did not get it. They have some Matrix ones, um, Hobbs and Shaw, which I think is part of the Fast and Furious. I don't know. Ugh, I think so. Uh, and then moving on, you have Stranger Things. Now, this section used to be a lot bigger, but it's not as popular anymore. Okay, I think I said that wrong. It is still very popular, but I don't think they have as many Funko Pops right now anymore. So this section had uh, Star Trek uh, characters, which I guess goes with Stranger Things because there's aliens. I don't know. Uh, my brother's going to be so mad. He went to Star Trek. Uh, there's also The Witcher. Uh, this one's okay fitting because Game of Thrones is coming up too. Um, I watched a little bit of The Witcher. I know who they are. I know who all of these people are. Um, and then they had others like the Umbrella Academy. So I would call this maybe like the Netflix section. Maybe instead of the Stranger Things section, it has become like the Netflix section. Yeah, I think that's the best way of calling it. So they had Squid Games, they had the big young Hidal. I didn't know that was what it was called until right now. And then like I said, they do have Stranger Things. They had one more. Um, I should have probably gotten him. I, I like them in the season. He was a cool character and he is $12. All of these are $12. All of the normal ones are $12. They also had um, Robin, one of the favorites from the season, for me at least. And they had uh, this um, Rick and Morty, but they don't have Funko Pops for Rick and Morty anymore. I don't know if they're making them or maybe based on the new episodes. They have the Game of Thrones section, which has now transformed a little bit to the House of Dragon, which is still Thrones, right? Like they're still connected. We watched a couple episodes, we have not finished it. And this is what I was talking about. There's more dinosaurs. <laughs> Just more and more dinosaurs. So yeah, if you want a dinosaur, if you want to complete your Jurassic World um, scenery, you can come here and get more dinosaurs. And then across from this section, we have the scary movie section. Look how cute this tree is. He's so cute. It's the first time I've noticed he has a face. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they had these gremlin bags. My husband finally watched the movie. Uh, no, Magway? What are they called? I think... No, it's Gizmo. No, they are gremlins. Um, they have uh, trick-or-treat bags. They had this ass gamer with the nun. Uh, some fluff characters. They had... What you, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. We were so bored with the new one. We went in theaters to watch it and I was falling asleep. It was. I felt like it was long. They have Casper, they had more little faces. I feel like this section had more than usual, maybe because it was Halloween season, but they had quite a bit in this section. They had Carrie with the blood on her. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and then other movies that, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know because I don't like scary movies. I love Trick or Treat. <laughs> I think Sam is adorable. So trick or treat is okay. Uh, and I'm sorry if you hear Marcy in the background. She's woken up, so <laughs> hopefully she'll give me some time before she starts meowing. Uh, she's a, a talkative cat. Anyways, they had uh, some of these backpacks from Chucky and Corpse Bride. Again, another movie that's a little underrated. You don't see much uh, Corpse Bride. They had The Leprechaun and Candyman. We watched the new Candyman, like the redone Candyman, but I don't think I've seen the original one. Here you can see Leprechaun um, FYI exclusive. I think that's the first FYI exclusive that I see at this store or FYI, FYI exclusive. Um, I like FYI. I feel like the prices there have gone up though. And then here we have a couple more scary ones.
lot of hidden gems in this section so make sure you're looking around again they had this style of Funko Pop and then and they had the actual style and then here's Pennywise I don't know about y'all but I love it I love the original it I love the new it I just love it uh, and they have Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Nah, I won't say it again, don't worry. And then we're moving on to Star Wars section. Yay, another section that I know very little about. Now my husband does like this section. He felt like there wasn't any new, new ones that he was gravitated to buy. Like last time there was quite a bit that he wanted. And this time it seemed like there was quite a bit of repeats. Maybe because there's no new Star Wars thing coming out. I'm not really sure. But there was quite a bit of repeats from the last time we were here. So we didn't buy too much. These bags were new to me. <laughs> uh, I think they're very cute. But again, I'm a backpack person. A lot of photo ops in this section as well. Oh, yikes, yeah, so cute. Um, but they had these bags. I actually really like these bags. But my husband told me to put it down. I don't know why. I don't know if it's supposed to mean something in the show, movie. <laughs> no idea. But there's quite a bit, and again, quite a bit of pictures to take. I will not talk during this because I, I feel like people who like Star Wars really know their Star Wars, and I don't want to make a mistake here. <laughs> up another section that I know very little about anime <laughs> and I really don't want to get these wrong so I'm gonna let you enjoy it I will tell you there's a bunch of anime this whole middle section is anime um, and there's Fortnite too now that I see it underneath uh, Attack of the Titans I have seen that one a little bit my husband watches it there is Pokemon a bunch of Pokemon and there is Hello Kitty and other things that I don't know if they qualify as anime again somebody who's really into anime will have to tell me but there's other stuff that's like animated uh, that's in the section uh, but it's a very very cool section I really like the All Might section <laughs> That's one of the very few animes that I do watch and the Pokemon section just because my mom and my husband's mom still play Pokemon Go <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know what that is and if you still play it But yeah, I'm just gonna let you enjoy this section Let me know if you have any questions about this section, but because I don't know a lot I'm just gonna let you watch what there was Thank you. 
the section is like hallways and they have a lot of extra Funko Pops. They do have some exclusives like that Toucan but, or this Jeremy Germs. But again, you can find these in other sections. So I don't know if this is like their extras or maybe like their miscellaneous where they don't fit anywhere. Um, maybe that's what it is. I don't know what to call this section. Look, more dinosaurs. I think this is just like things that haven't sold. So they put them here. Or they just have too much, so they have no place to put them. No idea. They had this gold section. It's like a Funko Gold. I think it's like their new section. This was not here last time I came at all. I like this bench or any of this. I don't know that I like this. Let me know in the comments if you like them. They look like... I don't know. I just... They're not for me. I don't know. I think a lot of these were athletes. They used to have a whole section dedicated to um, like sports pops. And they still do. But now they have these like gold Funkos. I, I don't know why I don't like them. I think they look like those like you, you can squeeze them those like stress squeezy toys You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Let me know in the comments I'm curious of what you think they were they were not for me. I was not the right audience for these and This section used to be exclusive. So there used to be a person here Manning the section and passing you exclusives now. It just looks like it's like the excess of the exclusive so again we've seen some of these Funko Pops in their actual section and we some of these are not from their actual section but like the bottom one right there right from Peter Pan we saw before uh, most of these we've seen before Merida we had not seen she was not over by the Disney princesses but she is an exclusive I consider buying her just because she's so cool uh, but see like all of these we saw at the Disney section some of these are new and I feel like this is the only section. I think this is the only place where we saw this one. My husband considered buying it. That's him putting it back. But yeah, that's what that section is. And then this is the section that I was talking about dedicated just to sports. It this used to be bigger. It used to be this and the gold section and now um, it's smaller. Uh, my husband did uh, find one for the Cardinals for Molina and he was really excited. So you can find some from all sorts of uh, sports. And it's not only like players, but it's sometimes mascots. There's lounge flies. I was shocked that there was lounge flies, but there's lounge flies. They have this one from the Chicago Bulls. We all know who that is. I used to think that. No, I won't say to you, but <laughs> hopefully you get my reference. But yeah, there's just a ton of sports that I can't tell you much about because, I mean, it's sports. Sorry. Up is the brand's flashback section. I don't really know what to call it. There's a lot of things from like our childhood. And I'm gonna say ours because I don't know. <laughs> there's a lot of things from childhood that are here. And there's a lot of brands that are here. Like Funko Pops for specific brands. And I, I think I was jamming to a song here. They used to have Funk Yourself over here in this section where you used to make your Funko Pops. This was back when it was like quarantine time still and now it's back to being normal but you can see all the pictures you can take again brands and old cartoons i don't want to call them old because that means <laughs> i'm aging myself so i don't want to do that um but cartoons you know and again brands like there's the cheetos which <laughs> i mean who doesn't love cheetos but yeah this whole section is cheetos as you can tell it was very busy so i did go a little bit faster in this section so i apologize for that hey yeah. Uh, does he still make commercials? I don't know. I don't. I don't watch as many commercials anymore. Uh, but they have all sorts of cartoons. These cartoons that I did not watch. I don't know if you're shocked based on my symptoms that I did not watch. There's a lot of cartoons that I should have seen when I was younger, but somehow I did not. But here's the Cheetos. Mm, can you imagine if a bag was this big? I was just swimming in all day. Uh, they had Lisa Frank section. Ah. Uh, how cute is this? Were you a Lisa Frank kid? I had like the fluffy folders that you could draw in and I hate that material but I still had them. Now this bag, the cat bag, I considered it hard. Like hard. I really wanted it. I might still but I'm gonna see if it gets on sale. <laughs> Uh, Looney Tunes, right? Um, so he, he's there and those doors used to open again during like the quarantine section or time, COVID time. I don't even know what to call it anymore. Back in 2019, uh, Fruit Loops, look at the little feet. Look how cute. <laughs> I would have bought it just for that, but it was $12. Uh, it's great. I don't know if you saw Tony the Tiger over there in the corner. That's what their name is. There's Kool-Aid right there. Um, and then Blue's Clues. I was a Blue's Clues kid by far. Oh, I think it was a Blue's Clues person. 
And then this section you have more, I want to say they're cartoons, but I didn't realize this either. I forget to look up apparently, but the eyes move in this little section, it's very cute. Uh, some extras, again we saw these earlier, I don't know why they're here, I think it's because they haven't sold them. But they've been here for, I want to say years, I don't think it's years, but it's years. Oh yeah, it's years. More Lisa Frank, so cute. And they had Polly Pocket, I mean, come on. My childhood right there. Polly Pockets were so fun. You could take them anywhere. And finally it cleared out once I stopped filming, of course. But look how cool. So pretty. But yeah, that's the little section. You come out, you can see where the we are at. We're at the exclusives. To the left is the sports. To the right we have MTB little sign. They used to sell these. They were uh, exclusive just to the store. And they had like little pops that were the MTB award. I think that's what this is. But this is what I call like the music section. Uh, so they have Hamilton. I almost bought Thomas Jefferson. I'm a big Hamilton person. I have not seen it in person. No. If you're new to my channel, hi. I'm a teacher. <laughs> uh, but they also had Lafayette. As you can tell, I really like this um, Broadway person. And they had others from the Hamilton. Again, this is the exclusive and that's the normal one. If you can see, there's like a little shine on his jacket. Uh, they have uh, military or yeah military so thank you for your service they had nurses thank you for what you do um, and then they had the music section so you have this Beatles bag I might put this on my wish list for magic at your door <laughs> it's a subscription that I do there's videos of it if you want to see but I think they have it in their wish list but I really like the Beatles I don't know about this one in particular it reminds me of baseball but I like the other one on the left they had an Aaron Burr sir uh, and the minis I don't know what to do with the minis I never buy them and there's more music John Lennon is up there to the left oh yep let me point to it <laughs> it's funny as I edit this my eyes gravitate to the same things that they gravitated to when I was there DJ Khaled uh, which looks like DJ Khaled. Some of these, it's crazy how some look just like the person. Some don't and some do just exactly. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> hopefully you do. Uh, like Post Malone. Like if I Hopefully, yeah. See, Post Malone looks just like Post Malone. Like they really got his details and everything. Um, I think the only music artist I have is Brendan Urie. I want to say. My husband bringing me Mariah Carey because I love Christmas. <laughs> and Mariah Carey starts Christmas every year and they have these I haven't seen these in stores have you it's where it's like the whole group if they have this for the Beatles I might consider it but they didn't they have a game section this was not here before either this is all new and they had mystery because these mystery little balls are everywhere right now they're just it but they had board games they had mystery items mystery games again this whole section was not here before and now it is and I'm assuming it's just gonna continue growing if they continue to sell it and then on the way out towards the way out you have Pixar which is hiding behind the Disney section um, but I believe this is a Pixar section because I feel like most of these are Pixar yeah even the little mystery balls <laughs> my husband's showing me the panda there were some cute items nothing that I necessarily like needed needed but this backpack I thought was really cool I feel like it would break really easy they had Rex and they had the yoke backpack the Pizza Planet backpack from Toy Story which lights up by the way that's a fun fact about that backpack it lights up and they had other items um, this section is very busy usually it's really small it's a really really small section and it has like a photo op so there's gonna be a ton of kids and a ton of parents trying to take pictures with Woody and friends I'll insert a picture later so you can see what I'm talking about so this section is really small um, so you don't really get a chance to like see everything but here you can see more um, Monsters Inc, Monsters at Work, Geppetto randomly <laughs> here and they did have the Make-A-Wish ones where pro proceeds go to Make-A-Wish which is kind of nice but this is a picture app I was talking about and now it's time to pay so on the way out there's a bunch of trinkets and you can see them and uh, they used to charge for bags they didn't charge us for a bag this time so that's good to know but yeah I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough I'm so sorry it's so long believe it or not I edited it down from a long time to 54 55 minutes whatever this video is so yeah sorry it's so long but hopefully you were able to see everything that was there let me know what you want for the next one do you want me to do a voiceover do you want me to stop talking and just put music 
Do you feel like I was going too fast? Do you feel like I was shaking too much? I always accept your feedback as long as it's kind <laughs> and respectful. I appreciate any feedback you may have for me. I of course appreciate any likes if you can leave a like. Um, I guess if you want to leave a dislike, that helps my channel too. So sure, go for it. And if you want to subscribe, please do so. It's free to you and it really helps out my channel. I'm trying to grow um, here and I would love to do more videos like this and have more opportunities to show you more videos that have to do with Funko Pop. I hope you have a magical day and until next time, adios.